is best known by practicing as i said keep practicing percussion everywhere practice on your desk practice on your bottle practice on your stomach area practice everywhere so the plexor and the pleximeter help us yield a resonant note in the chest on the hand in the front and less resonant because of bulk of musculature at the back these three terms are very important never mix them an impaired note a dull note and a stony dull note impaired note more or less happens when the air in the alveoli decreases so over a consolidation over any general infiltration or fibrosis process your percussion may not be as good whenever you're percussing then the the sound that you hear can be appreciated by noticing a difference so if you have any doubt percuss the normal area and percuss an abnormal area and you will know which one is altered when you talk about dull note again it can come over all of these but it would be absolutely dull try percussing your forehead and you would know what dull note is try percussing over your chest and you would know what a normal resonance is and try percussing over your stomach and you would know what resonance is when you use the term stony dull you are almost always implying that your patient has pleural effusion because it will dampen the vibration so it's almost always a clue to the examiner that you know the diagnosis is effusion timpani it's drum like percus over your stomach when you're lying down and you would know what a timpani is the same note can be heard over a pneumothorax and over a cavity which is superficial sub timpani also called boxy quality just about pleural effusion it will be difficult to appreciate each time so do not mention it unless you're sure about it hyper resonance remember emphysema remember pneumothorax and bell timpani a bell like metallic quality to the sound specifically in pneumothorax there are certain areas where percussion is normally altered and we must know them a question that's often asked by the examiners is where is chronic system is so if this is your sternocleidomastoid this is your clavicle and these are your shoulder muscles then this area on your neck is the chronic system is this is normally resonant but if there is an apex involvement then this area bilaterally can be altered liver dullness and span very very important because this tells us where your lung is ending and this tells us where the liver is starting so if you want to see whether your lung is um fibrosed or that side lung volumes are reduced then this will shift up and if the volumes of the lung are increased it will shift down if the liver is enlarged it will shift so it's a very very important sign it is seen in the mid clavicular line in the fifth space in the anterior axillary line in the seventh space and the spinal line in the ninth space pleura is plus 2 so when you talk about pleura it will be seventh in the mid clavicular ninth in the anterior axillary and 11th in the spinal line remember this 579 very very important cardiac dullness we must know how to percuss it and we must know its position the other thing that you must always do and know is tidal percussion tidal means normal volume of the lung so we are checking for percussion of the upper border of the liver dullness on the right side anteriorly in inspiration and expiration to see lungs expansion so the whole purpose is to see how the lung is expanding if the liver shifts and we see around one space increase 
in the resonance of the lung on full inspiration then that shows that the tidal percussion is heard now these all diseases it may be affected and you may be asked such conditions when you are checking for tidal percussion you start percussing anteriorly till you reach the liver dullness now you ask your patient to take a deep breath in and hold his breath but you do not move your finger and the percussion goes one step down and when he expires the resonance goes one step up the other thing is drop space this is your normal stomach hence hyper resonant or tympanic percussion is seen you must know the conditions where it is done coming to shifting dullness classical of hydronemothorax never to be missed and if you are suspecting hydronemothorax then you must perform this maneuver not required if your patient is not suspected to have hydronemothorax coin test if there is a patient with pneumothorax you must do this for all patients you may not do it percussion myokinia it just means twitching of the muscles usually seen in chronic wasted individual so if you are getting a patient a case of pulmonary tuberculosis you may get percussion myokinia positive examiners love to ask limitations of percussion and you must know about it coming to auscultation auscultation is something that lot of people get confused on whenever you are trying to auscultate your patient you must know the normal so at in your hostel at your room try auscultating yourself try auscultating your colleagues auscultate over your trachea the sound that you're hearing is bronchial breath sound a classical tubular bronchial breath sound auscultate over your own chest wall the sound you hear is a vesicular breath sound now see on your patient you must know this important diagram of vesicular and bronchial breath sound and if you know this you will never forget it you must know the character of sound in vesicular breath sound and bronchial breath sound so vesicular breath breathing or breath sound is because of active inspiration and passage of air into bronchi and alveoli and then a passive expiration there is no gap between the bronchial phase and the alveolar phase and the character of sound is rustling the expiration is passive and shorter than inspiration in bronchial breathing this alveolar phase is absent now here there is some issue either there is a consolidation or there is a cavity and air enters there is a gap and then air exits so inspiration expiration are seen and there is a gap and in in another type of respiration called bronchovascular respiration breath sounds the inspiration and expiration are equal but there is no gap this is usually seen in bronchial pr- problems related to asthma where and bronchi where expiration is again some kind of a resistance so expiration has to be more than passive so it is longer however since the alveolar phase is still present it is normal we must know that vesicular breath sounds are the normal breath sounds over our lungs and chest bronchial breath sounds are normal over the trachea but abnormal when it is associated with a cavity consolidation 
partial collapse with open bronchus because if the bronchus is open then only we'll hear the inspiration and the expiration to the bronchus if the bronchus is occluded completely we will not get any breath sounds we often get confused in tubular cavernous and amphoric breath sounds whenever you're talking about bronchial breath sounds to your examiner remember tubular breath sounds are over the consolidation they are almost as in you are auscultating over the trachea and you can match them the cavernous and the amphoric are heard over cavities mostly and pneumothorax in amphoric so cavernous you may still be able to hear they are low pitched amphoric they have overtones once you've done through the breath sounds you have to look for other sounds like rolls also called as scripts crackling sounds few rolls that you will never forget are velcro rolls this is a velcro roll or a velcro prep this is an end inspiratory repetition usually heard in pulmonary fibrosis interstitial lung diseases but they can be in early inspiration mid inspiration late inspiration as i just showed you and sometimes expiration you must know their causes and you must know their mechanism of being because of explosive opening of the airways in a part of the lung that is deflated to its residual volume they are no longer believed to be due to bubbling of air and they are very important adventitious sounds almost majority of copd patients bronchiectasis patients consolidation patients and interstitial lung disease patients will be diagnosed on the basis of these classical crepts or rounds mostly heard on the dependent parts of the lungs and whenever you hear a rowl always ask the patient to cough and see whether they change which means there were secretions which have got dislodged post tussive you can also ask a patient to bend forward and sometimes you would hear them less prominent mostly in patients where pulmonary edema is causing such rowls after you hear rowls another very very important sound is ronchi ronchi is almost always classical of asthma also heard as wheezing all it is also seen in cases where there is a localized obstruction they are music to our ears musical sounds that once heard you will never forget if you were not able to elicit a ronchi in a patient you may ask him to have a forceful expiration and you will almost always catch a wrong guy if it's there so ask your patient to exert and then hear him or exhale forcefully term polyphonic and monophonic may not be used always while giving your examination findings but polyphonic have numerous tones and monophonic usually is a single sound the other adventitious sound is strider which we discussed already and pleural friction rub again pleural friction rub may not be always heard if there is a good amount of pleural effusion you will never hear a friction rub usually observed when there is a very little fluid and good amount of inflammation it is best heard in the bases in the axillary line you must know the characteristics of a pleural friction rub and they are very important for your examination Haman scrunch usually with mediastinal emphysema because here the emphys the mediastinal emphysema produces a crackling or a crunchy sound and when the heart moves this changes vocal resonance as i said it's almost tactile vocal fremitus with a stethoscope we ask the patient to say 111 123 or 123 and we will be able to hear a resonance sound normally a diminished sound in most pleural pathologies and emphysema and an increased sound mostly in consolidations 
this table is a beautiful table that would help you a long way try not to just remember these vaguely but try to understand their pathologies and hence you will never forget these findings in the next concluding video probably we would just explain each one by one and it'll help you understand how to go about them bronchophony egophony and whispering pectoral loci you may elicit these they are important in patients where you are getting abnormal breath sounds bronchophony is increased vocal resonance but the sounds are loud and clear but the words are not distinguishable so when he says ek do teen you may hear it as ek do teen but not as ek do teen a bronchophony in egophony you hear a nasal quality so instead of ek do teen you will hear ek do teen a nasal quality in whispering pectoral loci you ask your patient to whisper and when you keep your stethoscope you hear that so clearly that you are able to understand the words so when a patient says ek to ti you are able to hear exactly as ek to ti this is a classical sign again music to our ears because we know the diagnosis is either a cavity directly with the bronchus so we are getting the tubular breath sound like almost in a tr- in our trachea and or a diffuse consolidation where the lung is near the bronchus saccation splash is heard mostly in hydronemothorax or a large cavity with fluid you shake the patient you put the stethoscope and you hear a sound as if fluid is shaking in a bottle again if you're not suspecting hydronemothorax or a huge cavity you may not elicit it post tasive suction is suction sound after a long inspiration and about of coughing in thin walled cavity and post tasive rals as i said repetitions or rals that you hear after the patient has coughed and those which are not audible initially may be now heard because the secretions of the thick material has dislodged this is respiratory system examination in totality i hope you've learned out of this video and if there are any doubts you can always post them in the comment section and i will get back to you with answers thank you have a nice day and all the best for those preparing for exams